Good day, students. Our lesson for today is representation of function. Let us start with the definition of relation. So, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. The domain of a relation is the set of the first coordinates, while the range is the set of the second coordinates. Let us have the examples of relation. The first one, we have positive 1, positive 4, positive 2, positive 5, positive 3, positive 6, and positive 4, positive 8. Okay, so let us determine the domain and range on the first example. So the set of first coordinates are your domain. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. While the set of second coordinates is your range. So therefore, it is 4, 5, 6, and 8. For the second example, we have positive 4, positive 2, positive 4, negative 2, positive 9, positive 3, positive 9, negative 3. Your domains are positive 4 and positive 9. While the range are positive 2, negative 2, positive 3, and negative 3. Then for the next example, we have positive 1a, positive 1b, positive 1c, positive 1d. Your domain is positive 1, while the range is a, b, c, and d. So again, a relation is a set of ordered pairs, and the domain is the set of the first coordinates, and the range is the set of the second coordinates. Let us proceed with function. A function is a relation in which each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range. Let us have an example of function. We have positive 1, 4, positive 2, positive 5, positive 3, positive 6, and positive 4, positive 8. As you can see, each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range. For the second example, we have positive 2, positive 1, positive 3, positive 1, positive 4, positive 1, and positive 5, positive 1. On the second example, each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range. So how can we say that a given relation is a function? So for us to know if the given relation is a function, let us again define what is a relation and function. Again, a relation is a set of ordered pairs, while function is a set of ordered pairs such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. In short, all functions are relation but not all relations are function. Why? Dahil kailangan hindi maulit yung x value kay relation para matawag itong function. So let us have some examples. So which of the following relations are function? For the first relation, f, we have positive 1, positive 2, positive 2, positive 2, positive 3, positive 5, positive 4, positive 5. Now, is it a function? or not a function. So how can we determine? Observe the x values. What are the x values? We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the x values are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Walang na ulit na x value. So ibig sabihin that is a function. As simple as that. For number 2, Relation G, we have positive 1, positive 3, positive 1, positive 4, positive 2, positive 5, positive 2, positive 6, positive 3, positive 7. Again, to determine if the relation is a function, observe the x values. The x values are 1, 2, and 3. Kung mapapansin natin, naulit si 1, naulit si 2. Therefore, that relation is not a function.
see the difference? Okay, for the last example, we have positive 1, positive 3, positive 2, positive 6, positive 3, positive 9, positive 4, positive 12. Is it a function or not a function? Observe the x values. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Walang naulit na x value. Therefore, that is a function. Relation may be in the form of mapping diagram. So, for this example, let us determine if the given mapping diagrams represent function. Let us have letter A. So, the x values are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the y values are 3, 5, 9, 17, and 33. As you can see, the arrow represents their relation. So, therefore, positive 1 corresponds to positive 3. Positive 2 corresponds to positive 5. And positive 3 corresponds to positive 9 and positive 4 corresponds to positive 17 and positive 5 corresponds to positive 33. So, is it a function or not a function? Since each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range that is a function. Let's proceed with letter B. So, we have the inputs. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the outputs are 0 and 1. So, 5 corresponds to positive 1. 6 corresponds to 0. 7 corresponds to positive 1. Positive 8 corresponds to 0. And 9 corresponds to 0. Now, is it a function or not a function? That is a function. Okay, how come that is a function? Each element on the domain or in the input corresponds to exactly one element of the range. Kahit na naulit yung range natin or yung output natin, still that is a function dahil wala namang naulit na value ni x. Okay, so kapag sinulat natin siya into the form of ordered pairs, we have 5, 1, we have 6, 0, we have 7, 1, we have 8, 0, we have 9, 0. So still, that is a function because no two x value is repeated. Okay? So, let's proceed with letter C. So, the inputs are 7, 2, and 1. The outputs are 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. 7 corresponds to 11 and 13. Positive 2 corresponds to 17 and 19. 1 corresponds to 23. Now, is it a function or not a function? The answer is not function. Why? The domain corresponds to not only one range or output. So therefore, that is not a function. It should be the input corresponds to only one and exactly element of the range. So, that is not a function. If we will rewrite this as a set of ordered pairs, we will have 7, 11, 7, 13, 2, 17, and 2, 19, then 1, 23. So, as you can see, 7 and 2 is repeated. That is why that is not a function. So, if you still recall the um, 
types of relation. We have three types of relation, right? So, for le letter A, we have the one-to-one -one relation. Pag sinabi natin one-to-one -one relation, ibig sabihin, the input corresponds to exactly one output. That is one-to-one -one relation. So, makikita naman natin sa example na yan. So, therefore, if you have a one-to-one -one relation, that is a function. Next. For letter B, what kind of relation represents the example letter B? That is many to one. So, a many to one relation is a function. Why? Each element on the domain corresponds to exactly one element on the range. While letter C is a many or a one to many relation. Okay. Pag one to many relation, that is not a function. Kasi nga, yung nag-iisang value ni x may corresponding more than one value kay y. So that is not a function. Let us proceed with this example. So, as you can see, which of the following graphs represent a function? So, how can we determine if the given relation is a graph, if that is a function or not? Dito papasok yung tinatawag natin si vertical line test. Okay, sino nga ba si vertical line test? From the word itself, that is a vertical line to test if the given graph is a function or not. So, paano ba natin ipapakita yon? So, let's have an example. Let us have letter A. So, kailangan yung graph natin, pag dumaan siya, or pag dinaanan siya ni vertical line, dapat meron lang exactly one point of intersection para matawag natin na siya ay function. So, as you can see, yung first graph natin, nadaanan siya ng vertical line test. At ilan ang point of intersection niya? We only have exactly one point of intersection. So, let's have another vertical line. So, there is exactly one point of intersection. So, dapat kahit saan mapunta si vertical line test, meron lang one point of intersection para masabi natin na ito ay function since kahit saan mo idaan yung vertical line test, there is exactly one point of intersection. So, therefore, letter A is a function. Next, let us proceed with letter B. So, padaanan natin siya sa vertical line test. So, ano ang napansin nyo? So, bawat daan ng vertical line test, meron lang tayong exactly one point of intersection. So, dahil meron lang tayong exactly one point of intersection ng vertical line test at ng graph natin, that is a function. Let's proceed with letter C. So, for letter C, Sa unang vertical line, ilan ang point of intersection? Meron tayong two points of intersection. So, doon pa lang, maklalaman na natin kung ito ay function or hindi. So, therefore, letter C is not function. Okay, bakit siya not function? Because... Para matawag na function yung graph, dapat vertical line test and the graph will have exactly one point of intersection. Let us proceed with letter D. So, ilan yung point of intersection natin? We have exactly one point of intersection. Therefore, that is a function. 
or the last graph, letter E, is it a function or not? That is not a function. Why? Ilan yung ating point of intersection? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, more than 1. So, therefore, that is not function. So, that is how we will determine the graph if that is a function or not using vertical line test.